one owner car guy one owner car guy.com what i got here for you today is like a memorial day video it's a video and we got the old starfire on the trailer we're moving stuff out of here and you'll see what we have left here in a second watch this watch this he says i might be wrong richie too close to the other car no we more pull out from underneath it Fred. huh yeah too close to that car we just gotta pull out from underneath what we got Okay, I can drive the truck. Alright, we'll put a block. Go ahead. Okay, good. That's good. Back up a little bit. Put back a hair. That's good. Shove my stinking limo up against the fence here, and it's going to be a pain to get this thing out. I don't know exactly how. I think we're going to back it up, get this out, and then roll it forward and hope we can get out. Man, it's getting empty. It is getting empty. Uh, in fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cars here. Um, and actually, the limo, I believe, is sold. I got to answer my friend about that. And this one is two out and the Elante and the green Mercedes. I think I got four of these sold and a fifth one being scrapped. So I should only have six here and I think I've got six parking spots up at my other place. Um, the fence is taken to where I can get down in panels. And if you look over here, you'll see Rich has went through the electronics, the power washers. He's got it all separated perfectly of what works and what don't work, what I'm taking with me and what we're throwing away. And I'm here to tell you, I think the garbage pile is bigger than the pile of what we're keeping, which is, it's good because I don't want to keep a lot of stuff. Um, if it's no good, I don't want to haul it around. This stuff's crap. We could throw it in one of the cars, get extra for scrap or something. I don't know, but it is what it is. Um, this car and that car and that car, three, bam, gone. Limo, bam, gone. Four, bam, other Volvo, gone. Yeehaw. So what's left is the Mustang, and Rich is working on getting it started. Last time I was down gonna load it up, it wouldn't start. And to be quite honest, I'm just not as mechanically inclined even close as he is. And I didn't have time to mess with it. I can mess with that thing for three days and what he could do in three hours. So, big difference, right? Uh, right person for the job. Not this guy. It's one owner mechanic guy. He's good. Um, other than that, we are loading and going. Um, I might make a video from the other yard and put two update dates up to day day. And that way you have a Memorial Day Day video day day with two day day videos. Something like that. I don't know. I've got a little bit of stuff left. I'll make somebody a smoking deal on this Mercedes limo. Um, I had a guy call me. I've got to call him back. I'm so far behind on phone calls. It's pathetic. Um, yeah. What was I just saying? I could do it for three weeks and or three days and he could do it in three hours. So here's the Mustang running like a dream, running like a top, and that changes my mind as to what I'll do with it. Mustang deals off for everybody. Everybody now that wanted it, whatever. What was wrong with it? Nothing. I tried, I tried to pre-crush the fuel rail and there was no pressure. I used to try to start it again and it fired. So there must be pressure here. Maybe it was just low on gas and it wasn't cranking it up there? No, see, that's not really fuel. Not what? There should be fuel coming out. Should be something, right? Fuel in it. I mean, there's no fuel coming to it. That's all that fucking ether you sprayed in it, I think. <laughs> Maybe I would evaporate by now. No, <laughs> I didn't put that much. What's the gas gauge say? Uh, Someone siphoned all the gas, dude. Okay, look at this. Trash. Trash. I hate it. That's a Mercedes wheel, man. And I got another one up at the other place. So I gotta bring it back. So any of those, I might keep a set of those or something. I got a set of these. This is for, I don't know what it's for. What was this for? Oh, that other Mercedes, the 380. So. But there's trash, trash, trash. But who's gonna, this is, ooh. I might put these on that little C10 I have up there. 
that little two-wheel drive. This is trash. I got three of them. I think somebody probably wants them. The caps are probably worth money. But the time lugging them around, these, sandblast these down. These are nice Rally 8s. Um, I got a nice set of Rally the 10s, but they're for a six lug. So a little bit different of a deal. I would love to have the 10s on there with some 295, 60, 15s. Um, bam! But that's the deal. I'm gonna get this stuff wrapped up and going. I'm gonna get this all uploaded to where you can see what's going on today. And like I say, I might throw something up from the other lot today, but it's likely gonna be tomorrow because there's a lot going on. So thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Um, we'll see you. Anything you wanna buy, hit me up because it ain't gonna be around long. Somebody needs this jewel. I'm here to tell you, Borg Warner 5 speed, Starfire, basically a Monza, and it is just a sweet. Now there's a little ding in the door, not really, but it's a sweet car. Got all the original paperwork and everything. Got to get the windows rolled up. Look at the carpets. You can't see because the light is shining. But that's the deal, man. That's the cars. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. One owner car guy dot com and I'm done oh wow that's right got the Durango here probably gonna take that to Montana we'll see what happens thanks for watching talk to you